Hello folks, this is Chris, KY4CKP. This week on El Cara Ham Radio, we are going to go from Tower Down to Tower Up and on the air for one of our members. That's what's coming up next on El Cara Ham Radio. your coaxial connector on there like that, you can wrap that coaxial in the connector with it to help waterproof it, even though it's inside of a waterproof housing, you know. Okay, so I got, and that's the nuts for these. Two. Yeah. Yeah, they have, you have three for those. Right. Lock washer and that, which goes in there, okay. and fits that in. So now we've got to come up with a number 10 millimeter. Is this a 10 then? 10. 10, a 10 yeah. and a and I think, I think these are number seven, ten and a seven. As loose as I can. Model. Greetings. 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 Hello. So, uh, <laughs> you see what I did to the tower that we got from Don? Good, good. Oh, I the, um, I like the colors that you chose, red and green, Christmas colors. Yeah. Now we could transport this over there to the other side now. And uh, you need electric for the. Go ahead and grab, I'll pull this, uh, don't worry. Yeah, lift it up. Just go ahead and grab the whole thing. There we go. We want to take these horses. Almost like we're educated and know what we're doing. Well, yeah. well we got to act like we do. We we gotta act like we do. That's all right, because there's a camera rolling. So That's right. <laughs> can't dazzle them with brilliance, baffle them with. <laughs> if there's enough bodies around, we're doing it the Indian way today. Time to test. I think all those would work. There's no specific way for this, is there, Don? But the bolt hole. Is there any specific way for this? On well, the, the bolt plate? holes, well, yeah. As long as the bolt yeah. holes goes on there. The bolt holes don't match up. Well, it just needs to go a little lower, and that one does. A little okay. lower, and that one does. So they should all just match up just on there. I'd say that Marcello was correct, and you could put it on whichever side. All right, when we get a drill, get my drill. I'll keep going. Like your yeah. There we go. What you do with that uh, tape piece there, Howard? Do you remember? You got the tape that one. But the biggest mistake I made, Chris, is at the end of the day, um, zip tie myself. Yeah. For, for coax. Yeah. No sharp edges, so. And it makes it, it bonds it, you know. But the zip tie, it's still kind of. Zip ties are in the yeah. truck yeah. there, so. You get a loose band? Yeah. Are you going to tape it all, or you want to switch to zip ties at some point? 
I think he's just going to tape it. Unless you want to use zip ties, Don. Not a pig tail, but whatever they want, it is. This guy, he's up there. Keep pushing. There's our call, people. Hey, Don. Yeah. How about let us get in there? There you go. This is young man's work, Don. I know you want to. Come on, tell him, Wanda. Just a little bit I further. I can't tell him he won't listen. I We're almost there. He's deaf. He knows um, he's deaf. He's deaf. Okay, we're almost there. All right. Pin. 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 Hit the pin in. Wow. That was slick. Almost like you knew what you were doing. But okay, we're eating. All right, folks, I just wanted to uh, jump in here real quick um, on this uh, snapshot. Uh, when you look at this uh, tower and you look at it right now, you can uh, kind of see it's tied off at two points uh, on the uh, mast there for the uh, TV. Uh, what Howard and his son-in-law were going to do later this afternoon on this day that we raised the tower, they were going to be uh, building three brackets, and that tower is going to have three points of contact with the, uh, the house. And the roof of the house uh that's one reason why the base isn't that big uh and of course it's fairly close to the house and the house is going to be blocking a lot of the wind but that was the plan there's going to be three points of contact and then the base mostly holds it up and keeps it from shifting and we'll take you folks right back into the video and we'll see you at the end what do that it's a, he's got a coat hanger, it's just because there's a lot of insulation he's trying to get it. Yeah, yeah, these insulation, we'll have to get a hole through there first. Chicken here. Hot. Now I'm going to need another piece. It's at 1.2 SWR at 144.8. Good. Is that good? Yes, sir. It's going on down. Look at that. Get down to 146. It's down to 1.0. Perfect. Can't get any better than that, Howard. Nope. And 148, which is out of band, and it comes up to 1.3 out of band. It's still not bad. So. Okay, we're good to go. So that's good. All right, let's, let's run. KQ4KDR on the air.
KQ4 KDR. Alright folks, we helped Howard raise his tower. Uh, I think it took less than three hours or somewhere in that range. We weren't in a big hurry. Uh, the weather was decent. It was humid, uh, but it was morning time. Not terribly hot. And uh, we got the job done. Uh, everybody was careful. Nobody got hurt. And we got Howard on the air and ready to go. He's also got provisions on that tower so he can easily string up an in-fed halfway, which he's already got uh, ready to go uh, a little bit later. So this is the kind of thing that a ham radio club can help with. Distribution of knowledge, uh, helping on projects. Uh, our club has helped several members raise towers and find towers for their properties. So consider joining a club. Look around your area. That'll wrap it up, folks. This is Chris, KY4CKP for Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. We'll see you in the next video, 73.